Yo, what to do? What's good, YouTube, man? This is Greg CEO. Welcome back to Stonelight TV, man. If you're a Stoner, this is the place to be, man. You know, the Monday the Lean Coaches Week, everything's on me, man. And that stuff. But he got some, unfortunately, that don't happen, bro. Major Mac, Harlem Spartans, jail for pointing, for pointing a gun at a police officer? Like, come on. Come on, miss. Now, look, bro, I personally don't know what, you feel me? be really going on but I could have sworn he was just in jail or has he been in jail this whole time bro I'm not sure bro but uh we got a huncho bro shout out to a huncho I always check out both videos bro uh just to stay updated on a couple of things you feel me so shout out to a huncho fitting into this video though if y'all new to this channel yeah make sure I leave a like on the video make sure y'all comment down below on the video drop me out to next yeah make sure y'all please hit that subscribe button bro let's see what he's talking about on here on the 11th of December 2020, UK draw rapper Mizzle Mac sent a message out to his fans via social media posts. To my family slash fans, I'm sorry to let you know that unfortunately I've been recalled, talking about getting a recall to jail. This isn't a full recall, I'll be back soon, and this time around I promise you I'll be more consistent and unstoppable. I want to thank you all for supporting me. My day one supporters, my management has gifts for you. Hit my DMs. For now, everyone hold it down for me until I land. Love, Mizzy. Fans around the UK draw community were both shocked and confused. Mizzomac had only just been released from jail a few months prior to this message. He was out on licence, so what had happened to him? He'd previously been serving a six-year stint in jail for possession of a firearm and possession of an offensive weapon in a public place, along with fellow rapper Blanco. But people close to the... Bro, now nah, boys, like that's crazy to me though, nigga. I mean, but then again, it's not crazy. But then again, it is kind of crazy. But then again, it's not, bro. Yeah, yeah, I can't have protection on y'all, basically, which kind of sucks. Like, I mean, you can't get a fucking knife license, nigga. Like, you get a gun license, but like, I'm pretty sure that's impossible. Incident knew exactly what went down with Ms. or Mac, and slowly information began to leak. A shooting had occurred at a music studio in what seems to be a case. Okay, so this is the last thing that I heard about from Ms. or Mac with the person uh, that I heard about it with. Yeah, so. Mistaken identity. Another rapper by the name of Midas the Jagaban and a member of her team fell victim to this shooting. Some people claim that the shooter thought it was P.S. from Hit Squad, a known rival of Mizzle Max. See, that's not, it's the story that I heard right here, which is, <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh because it's not funny, bro. It's actually crazy. It's crazy as fuck, bro. And I know this was a female leader. We have to say shooter because the double attempted murder charge that was pursued was eventually beaten by all those who were allegedly involved. At the time though, Midas put this image out with a statement that read, Dear all, after much speculation, Midas the Jagaban and the team have decided to make a brief statement on an incident which took place on Monday, November 30th, 2020. Unfortunately, Midas and a member of management sustained some injuries during a shooting that took place at a studio session. Both Midas and management were accidentally and wrongfully attacked. As there are ongoing investigations with authorities, we are unable to disclose any further information. Midas and the team are strongly against street violence and gun crime we are treating this situation with the utmost sensitivity and seriousness although we are shaken up we're happy that both midas and management are on the road to recovery wow that's crazy so they actually did get shot basically and that'd be crazy if they actually thought it was bs and that's that's some crazy shit bro for those who have reached out with well wishes and prayers we thank you we ask that you respect midas's healing process and be sure she'll be releasing new music very soon Many thanks. That's crazy. And, um, That's what happened. What, how that with the dog and nah, that's crazy, 
Yes, what the fuck, man? You thought that was supposed to scare him away or something, nigga? He's a police officer. Nigga. You know he could shoot you now, right? Like, nigga, that wasn't smart at all, bro. Like, if you thought that tactic was supposed to, that was supposed to be a scare tactic or something, bro, that shit was not smart, bro. Stop it, cut. Just before 3 a.m. on Monday the 30th of November 2020, a car containing various people, one of them Ms. Mac, Mac, had pulled up to a music studio in Woolwich, South East London, and someone from within that vehicle let off three shots. Two of the three hit Midas and her manager. The vehicle then fled, police were called to the scene. I mean, that shit sounds exactly like what the fuck happened, like... Literally, sorry, right. he thought it was P.S. Obviously, because he didn't know. I don't think he has no beef with Midas, right? It's not like he thought it was P.S. Which, how the fuck do you get that mistaken? Whoever told you that they had to drop, bro, they was wrong. And the hunt for the vehicle was on. Officers from the Metropolitan Police soon caught up to the vehicle and a chase ensued. Body cam footage picked... Well, why are niggas still in the car, though? the moment officers smashed into the car, forcing it to stop. The occupants then fled on foot, but officers were close behind. A chase then began on foot, and it was here none other than Mizzle Mac turned around and waved a Turkish Rite 9mm semi-automatic handgun at the officer. Four men, including Mizzle Mac, were eventually caught by police after the short chase, although there were five men within the car. To this day, he still hasn't been caught, but police say inquiries are still ongoing into his whereabouts. About. Eventually, all four were going to be charged for various offences. The car had been left with an array of weapons. Two magazines containing live ammunition were found, along with three large Rambo knives and a machete. All men would go. It's like he thought about shooting a cop, but he was smart enough not to pull that damn trigger. But he, that still wasn't smart to pull out a gun and all together, bro. Still deny the charges that were brought against them and they would end upon trial after the trial the attempted murder case against them was beat this was due to an extremely weak case but they were found guilty in relation to the police chase event that would happen soon after mukta khan aka mizzle mac was jailed for nine years for possession of a prohibited firearm and possession of a firearm with intent to cause an indictable offense miles brown was jailed for nine years damn miss Seven and a half years for possession of a prohibited firearm, Don Juan Newham was jailed for seven and a half years for the same offence, whilst Joshua Fasaro was jailed for eight and a half years for possession of a prohibited firearm and possession of a prohibited firearm relating to a 2019 matter where a revolver was recovered by police in an electrical cupboard that contained a DNA sample of his. Again, police are still on the hunt for that fifth man. So this now clears up the Mizzle Mac trial. A lot of people have been waiting for this day for everything to clear up and see ultimately what was going to happen with Mizzle Mac. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, in the UK, a lot of the time you'll notice that people serve half of their sentence and then they come out on license. But in this case, they all received a prison sentence of seven years or longer, which means they'll have to serve two thirds of their sentence. So for example, Mizzle Mac will have to be serving at least six or seven years before he's eligible for release. Do you guys see- Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Damn, free middle of Mac, bro. Free middle of Mac, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like all some other shit. Yeah, man. I don't know how it's smart. Dumb. That was dumb as hell. Free minutes to his backwards, bro. Shout out, hey, Pancho. That's it for this video. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like in the video. Make sure y'all comment down below for my video. Drop me at to next. Y'all make sure y'all please hit the subscribe button, bro. And we out, man. It's not my TV.